Hope not a jungle cruise. That's right, the Miracle Boat Company. You know why? Because if we make it on the jungle, it's definitely going to be a miracle. And be without a license. It's not going to work. You have a seat right there, folks. We're going to kick off right now. Put your trays and seats down by position. Oh, We're ready for blast off. Oh, that's another ride. Turn around, folks. Wave goodbye to her. She's a wonderful lady that she'll never, ever see her again. I guarantee it. Well, just a quick heads up before we get our tour today. For your safety, please keep your arms and legs inside the boat at all times. And please watch your small children. I guarantee you those crocodiles will. <laughs> well, guys, good morning. Welcome to Walt Disney's World Famous Jungle Cruise. My name is Shannon. I'll be your skipper here for a while, as far as we get. Please follow the last crew that wasn't too far, but then again, none of them bought round trip tickets, so I think we're safe. How about you guys? Round trippers? Okay, we're all set. Who came on board this morning to see a little danger? Who is dying to see some danger? A few more souls? Look quickly now. Look sharp. Look to the right. There she is. Look. Danger! <laughs> Howdy, folks, on the right is Indiana Jones, Temple of the Forbidden Eye. Now, you know, guys, everyone knows that Indiana Jones is a real cool guy, right? Cool leather jacket, nice whip. I met his cousin the other day. Kind of a strange guy. Idaho Smith. Idaho Smith. Little bit of a couch potato. <laughs> he was all right, though. <laughs> Alright, folks, we're now going to enter the ancient Cambodian shrine here. This was built a long time ago with those ancient Cambodian shriners. Yeah, we got a big cat, we call Tiger. Two big lizards called crocodiles. And two big snakes called cobras. Yeah, folks, the rumor is behind that big idol there are some five with jewels hit. But no one can seem to get past those hungry crocodiles. They make a very effective security system. They stop there all day long and don't even ask for a thing. Nope, not a thing. Just the occasional handout. Folks, on the left here, that's Ganesh, that's our Indian guy. The guy here on the right, that's Bob. Say hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Yeah, Bob don't speak much. <laughs> Alrighty folks, it looks like it's for a rare treat today. Looks like all of our Indian elements have come down to take a bath. Folks, if you got your cameras, go and take pictures now, it's safe. And these boys all seem to have their trunks on. Oh, oh folks, over here in the show, we have this Bertha. She's our resident happy, happiest elephant in the jungle. Also the cleanest. Also one of the most wrinkles. And I got one word for her. Moisturizer. Yeah, she's gonna need it. Say hi, little squirt. Hi there, little squirt. Keep your eyes out for big squirt. He's around here somewhere. He's always looking about. There he is now. Uh oh, we got trouble. Down boy. Down boy. Down boy. Down boy. Come on, squirt, get down. Don't squirt my guest. I tell you, folks, this elephant's got a mind of his own. I never know what he's gonna do. Never know. Oh my goodness, go back up, everybody. Get down, get down, get down, get down. <laughs> I tell you, that elephant there, folks, he's got a dry sense of humor. Alright guys, we're now about to enter banana country, so please keep your eyes peeled. Uh-oh. What do we have here at base camp? Looks like some uninvited house guests. Wow guys, look at that big girl there in the middle. He's just aiming for a headache. You know folks, I came down here a couple hours ago, they were trying to get that jeep there started. Yeah, I'm really glad to see they finally got it to turn over. Must be one of the monkey ventures or something. Alright folks, here's the part of the tour where I point out some of the rare plants in our jungle. I'm just pointing them out. I'm going to ask them, we don't see them. It's a gorilla talking to a crocodile. Now that gorilla better watch himself, because that croc's name is Ginger. And that's right. Ginger snaps. Hold on, folks. Here we go. We're going to pass it through the famous Schweitzer Falls. Hold on, back there. Hey, man, they get a hard night trip to an the Nile River Valley. The Nile River's over 4,000 miles long. We're probably taking a shortcut. And if you sit right here, you don't believe me? Well, then, you must be in denial. I like that. Folks, in the house, a very large African male bull elephant. The largest elephant in the jungle. Those of you with a short term memory, over here in the right is another very large African male bull elephant. The largest elephant in the jungle. Alrighty, folks, we're now going to enter the African bell section of our tour today. This is a place that man's hand has never set foot. 
If you look up there on the right, we got a family of baboons up there checking out the scene this morning. Let's see what's going on. Oh, wow, look at this. All the animals are out today. We've got gazelles, zebras, giraffes. And those guys with the horns? I don't know what they are. They must be a uh, new. Oh, uh, what a sweet picture is that. Look at that family of lions here protecting that poor sleeping zebra. And she looks dead tired. Sweet dreams of the zebra. Uh-oh, looks like my friends have gotten themselves caught in a native uprising. Well, folks, there's a long lost jungle orchestra. See the guy there in the bottom? He's normally our drummer. Yeah, it looks to me like he's about to join the uh, horn section. <laughs> I tell you, those musicians, they're not much. Hold on, everybody, here we go. We're making another hard right answer now. About to enter the land of mystery and intrigue. We like to call this the land of the hippopotami. A lot of folks be very quiet and still now. These creatures weigh to 6,000 pounds. They can easily sink our boat. And the way to prevent their angry this morning is they'll do two things. They'll wiggle their ears and they'll blow lots of bubbles. Uh-oh. Things are looking good. We got trouble over here. This one already started the boat. Get down, I'll scare him, I'll scare him. Oh my goodness, he's scared. He went right down. I think I really scared him. Yeah, you know how I can tell? He had a really blank look on his face. Yeah. Wow. Alrighty, folks, we're about to enter head of the country. This is one scary place to be headed. <laughs> we look off the right, the folks with the remnants of my last group. Yeah, they went out with a smile. <laughs> Looks like we got a party going on up here, though. Folks, let me see if I can translate for you. I think this is what they call a warring party. Let me see what they're saying. Okay, guys, ready? It goes like this. You put your left hand in, you put your left hand out, you put your left hand in. Hey, yeah, that's not a warring party. That sounds like a bunch of hokey pokey. Hey, guys, nice, nice try. Nice dresses, too, by the way. I don't know what they were talking about. Oh, my goodness. Here's our warring party. Have a look. the first one, folks. They've got a spirit right over my head. Uh -huh. All right, guys, here she comes, the high of our tour tonight. The eighth round of the world. The incredible, the stupendous, the outrageous, the colossal. Backside! All right, folks, we're now going to head down the Kilimanjaro Rapids here quite rapidly. Guys, you look off to the left of the boat. There's bubbles down there. That's a deadly man eating piranha. And for you, you see the right, we've got deadly women eating piranha. And yeah, we got you both covered. Wow, guys, that's a really big snake. I think that's what they call one of the giant Burmese pythons. Oh, uh, folks, I don't know about you, but I don't want to get too close to her now. Yeah, you know, she might develop a crush on you. you get you one of them constricting relationships, you know, guys? Something you don't want to get all wrapped up in now, is it? No, when it's all said and done, she'll take your breath away. Well, the first come in of our tour tonight, that's our head says with the jungle. That's good old Peter Sam. As you can tell by the shape of his head, their business has been shrinking a bit as of late. But he's still got a big sail going on. Look at your two of his heads. Any one of yours. Yeah, that's right, princess. Anyone who plays that deal, you're bound to come out ahead.